Hello, I'm Sue Shapcott and today I'm going to show you a drill that you can do if your swing lacks extension. So let's start off by talking about what extension is. And in this case, what I'm referring to is as your club is swinging past you, as you're going through to your follow through, then you're looking for the hands and arms just swinging out and swinging nice and wide and away from the body, okay? So that's what I'm referring to when I mean extension. Now, there's generally two reasons why people don't get extension in their swing. And that is one, that they use their shoulders too much. So if they use the shoulders too much, then the arms are gonna end up just pulling in towards their body. And the other reason is that people try and keep their arms too rigid. And if you keep your arms too rigid, then you might be swinging your arms out. They might be swinging away from you, but they're not doing it the right way. It's not gonna be an effective way to get good extension in your swing. Now, if you fit into one of those two categories, there's a great drill that you can do to try and increase the extension in your swing, increase the width, get more club head speed, and hopefully get a better strike too. And it's a really simple drill. So you're gonna work just on a half swing, and we're gonna say that you're gonna take the club back, I don't know, half, three quarters of your normal um, swing. And then you're gonna let your hands and arms just swing past the body the same amount in the other direction, okay? Now the key thing here is that on the downswing and follow through, you are letting your hands and arms overtake your body and swing past you, okay? Now that doesn't mean one, that you don't use your body, and it doesn't mean two, that you need to keep your arms really rigid so that you're pushing the club that way. It simply means that I'm gonna allow my hands and arms to get a little bit of momentum as they swing past me. And so what I'm looking for with this drill is on my back swing, I'm just taking the club back, three quarters of the way back, and then I'm gonna let my hands and arms swing the same distance through. And you can see at the end of my swing here, my hands and arms have swung away from my body the same way that they've swung away from my body on the backswing. Okay, so on the backswing, my body is turning, my arms have swung away from me, I'm letting the hands and arms swing past me, they're overtaking me, and at the end of my swing, I've made, been able to maintain that width. And what you should start finding is that you actually increase your club head speed because now the club head is gonna be able to overtake you. Okay, so now I'm getting speed from the club head swinging past my body instead of if I'm just using my shoulders, the club head can only swing as fast as my shoulders are moving. I'm gonna do that one more time. And it's a really good habit to get yourself into this position, hold it, and just see where your hands are relative to your body. So after three of those, I'm gonna hit a shot with a regular swing, but I'm gonna try and stick that feeling that I got from the drill in the middle of my swing. Okay, here we go. I like it.